What is authenticity? Is it the holy grail of a sneakerhead or something greater than that? It's more beautiful than I'd ever imagined. You see, buying authentic sneakers can be tricky, but how tricky? This is Steph from 99 Sneakers. Not every pair you get to buy is a pair that you can find at your nearest retailer. Sometimes you have to look on eBay, Facebook groups or elsewhere. Have you ever heard of the term replicas? There are a lot out there and believe me, some of them are quite good. How much experience does it take to spot the fakes? Are you in real danger of buying counterfeit goods? If you need some guidance, follow our short guide consisting of 6 ways to spot fake sneakers. One of the most common indicators prior to holding the shoes is their boxes. Older retros by Jordan had lighter colors and sometimes the spacing was off. The most recent black and gold Jordan box is a bit harder to copy, but still, not all fake sneaker sellers do the work and make boxes of the same quality. Some will be all beat up or ripped, even the box cardboard seems thinner. There is also another way, the box tag. On the fake models, letters and numbers are spaced further apart than the authentic. Also the actual font is larger on the replicas, or not center at all. Retail price? Hmm, no reason for the fakes to have one. You might not be able to remember different color schemes of your favorite Jordans, but you can check the info out for yourself. It's all over the internet. It will take some time, but it will save you from getting burned. Websites like our Jordan History are places where you can browse through to see if the colors match up with an already released pair. Another helpful tip would be to take images of the shoes and post them either on a message board or even send them to us. If we can, we will help. Let's say you found a website and you are ready to purchase your pair. Let's also say this pair is the Air Jordan 3 JD8. When released online at Nike.com, the shoes sold out within a minute, literally. And to top it off, not many shoes were produced. Now, you are at this website and know you are a size 11, but you notice that not only do they have your size available, but they have an 8, an 8.5, and 9 and 9 and a half all the way up to 12. This is a huge indicator that the shoes are fake. You have to study a lot in YouTube University to be able to spot differences on materials. Nowadays there are early released models that some say are fake, while others say are B grades which are factory flaws that won't pass inspection. This way fakes are being passed off as the real thing and can go undetected from an untrained eye. With that being said, there are some ways you can tell if your shoes are real or fakes. Toe box extends upward. Materials are visibly different. Stitching is flawed. Smell is bad. Yeah, sometimes this is a thing. Since fakes are made from poor materials, the smell test could be a good indicator. The price. If it's too good to be true, then it's not true. Sometimes fake websites will have a slash through the price, which implies you are getting some fantastic deal when in reality you are getting cheap shoes that will probably fall apart. This is their strategic method to make you think you are getting a deal and possibly buy on impulse. In the case you don't know what the going rate is for a particular shoe, the best way to learn if you are potentially buying counterfeits is by research. By visiting StockX or GOAT, you can see the real prices of the sneakers you intend to buy. If you want a more elaborate search, then maybe you should find the product number. Put it into eBay and you can see the aftermarket value is a lot higher. Check the tag that's placed inside of your shoes, usually it's on the tongue or side liner. Kind of like the box tag. Is the product number the same? How about the font used? What's different about the tag inside the sneaker compared to the box is you can find out when the production run was and the country they were made in. If you are buying a shoe from 2016 but the tag shows it was produced in 2018, this is a clear sign they are fake. Now, it's not that you can't find deals on real sneakers. Prices range depending on the condition they are in, the actual size 
or even if they don't come with a box. For sure, the way to avoid fakes altogether is purchase your sneakers from an authorized dealer. With that being said, if you want to buy a shoe that has been sold out for years, make sure the online store is verified and with a good track record. Don't forget to spread the love and give us a thumbs up if you really liked the video. Also subscribe to the channel because fresh videos will come at your doorstep pretty soon and leave a comment for anything you might want to know.